All right, all right. We are now fishing second day of trout opening weekend. Second day. And just woke up, got to my local pond that does have some trout, and a good spot's taken. I guess people learn that uh, when you have a deteriorated lake or pond, um, yeah, you want the deep spot with the inflow of water because that brings the most oxygen and those trout will love it. Here we go. Here we go. That one? Yep. Would you like it? I don't keep them. Uh, I, uh, no, 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 don't. Uh, Fragile line. And also, I got a barbless hook, so it's gonna fall right off. Here we go. Look at that. Cool. That little lure right there slays. And I actually a big, I had a big, I had a big pickerel. I didn't know what was there. Big pickerel. Pickerel, yellow perch, bluegill, uh, and a trout to put in there. Carp. Yeah, I was, last year, I went south fishing, but I ended up just throwing a big swim bait. Just get those for the big bass. Well, we went and, uh... Oh, here we go. Got another one. All right. Uh, get them down here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. What I like about these barbless hook on this lure is that I can just unhook this guy and put him right back in the water. Off he goes. While he's handling his fish, I'm a cast over there. Let's try it. I started over there and They're into that dough bait now, huh? Oh, at the bottom. Oh, here's one right there. Oh man. Yep. Yep. You want one? Huh? You want one? Sure, you want it, don't you get it. It's legal, yeah. It should be legal. I mean, they wouldn't put fish here that would die in like a couple more months. I mean, size wise, I mean. Right. Um, this looks small, actually. This looks yeah. insanely small. That one looks pretty big close to mine. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice, yeah, it's a nice size. Yeah, just something. Spit on it or do something with it. This one? You good? Sure, yeah, appreciate it, yeah. All right, enjoy it. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. You have them all. Here we go. All right, so it's falling. This is a good one. Nope. Yeah, check that out. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna throw a feather jig from Van Funk. This thing is pretty good size for um, a fly. It's weighted pretty well, so I think anyone on bait finesse should be able to throw this. It's like 1.8 grams. Oh, see that? This lower here will catch them all. I already got a bite, just pendulating it back. That's all I do, I pendulate these stuff back and uh, lift and drop, and they usually bite it. Here we go. Here we go. Remember now. There you go. Here we go. Easy clap. Easy clap with the hair jig. This one right here. Van Funk. Here we go. Another one.
Here we go. The hair jig strikes again. Let's go. That's fish. There's another one right there. They are on fire. All right. Let's just shake them off. This is what the barbers hook is for, so that you can just unhook them very quick, put them back in the water, and next guy can catch them. I'll get him, for sure. I'll get him, for sure. <laughs> Look at that. Something just jump up in the air. Here's another one. Wind picks up, get some nice bites. All right. Did I headshot him? Nope, came right off. All right, off you go. That's fish. Oh man. That's, there it goes. On a slack fall. Lift and drop. That means I had to use the deck of bone. There we go. Look at that. All right. A little trout. Ah, the wind sucks. <laughs> but it's good. It's needed. That's another bite right there. Oh man. Oh, there we go. Yep. Another fly inspired lure. Look at that. Oh. I'm telling you, man. These lures right here. This one's from um, Mukai. Look at that. Uh oh. It ripped. Uh. It's still gonna work. That's not a fish right there. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's fish right there. Got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, came off again. <laughs> Yeah, these barbers hooks, these come off. It's all good. I don't mind. There's another one right there. Yeah, I switched it back to my heavier jig, dark color, and uh, it's just, pff, doing amazing. All right, look at that. Harry Jigs for the win. All right. Joey don't want it? I'll take that one. All right. I'll swallow my pride. <laughs> it's all good, man. Lift it right in. There you go. Enjoy. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, look at that. I caught someone mine. It looks like the one he's using. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, like that whole area where it's not, I mean, it's so shallow. There we go. Oh, yeah. Got him. That took a long time. All right. The 
Van Folk hair jig. Slays again. Uh, yeah. Yep, tiny one. The Leo Shang EPF swim, one inch swim bait. Look at that. All right. Tiny guy. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> They're in here now. The wind blown slide. Let's cast it out there. Let's sink to the bottom. I like 50 bites reeling that guy in. That's another one right there. Oh, that's a pretty good one. That is a good one. There we go. Get one of this. Uh oh, no, 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 no. No, over that. Yeah. Legit, man. Check that out. On the EPS swim. Not bad of a morning. Got up before the family woke up, did about an hour and a half of fishing, and then a good amount of trout in a spot like this. Hair jigs seem to be the ticket as always. I simply cast out, pinch your back, do some little jigging, kind of like what I've been doing for half a strolling, right? The key is to find out which portion of the water column they want to bite and focus fishing in those. And no, typically, they're near the bottom, so prepare to snag a few. Thank you for watching the Fish Don't Wait, more fishing video soon.